I'm Jerry James Stone, and today's recipe is brought to you by my friends over at Israeli Kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious salted caramel milkshake. So if you're a dessert lover, this is definitely the recipe for you. Let's get to making it. Okay, so we're gonna begin this recipe, this salted caramel milkshake recipe by making the caramel. This begins with some half and half and a little bit of butter. And we're just gonna warm this butter until it completely melts and combines with the half and half. Okay, there we go, that's looking pretty good. Now I've added in some brown sugar and we're just gonna mix this together until it all combines. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're making a foolproof version of caramel. Caramel is melted sugar that you slowly brown. The problem is, unless you're really trained, it can be, it can be tricky, it's easy to burn. So this recipe, super simple, not easy to burn, and just as delicious. Now I'm gonna add in my sea salt, and we're just gonna bring this to a boil. The one thing that's really important for this recipe is when you're doing the whisking part is to whisk it gently and to not overdo it. If you overdo it, you can cause the caramel to crystallize, and that's the last thing you want. You don't want these like weird, crunchy bits of sugar in your dripping and creamy and delicious caramel sauce, right? Okay, so it's starting to boil there, and we're just gonna gently whisk it every now and then while we cook it over the next five minutes. You don't wanna overdo this, you just wanna kinda keep the mixture moving. Once that's finished cooking, turn off the heat. We're gonna add in our vanilla. Now add in the scotch whiskey. Just mix it all together. And let it cool. Okay, so let's make this milkshake. We're gonna start off with some milk, some vanilla extract, some malt, a pinch of salt, and some vanilla ice cream. Now we're just gonna blend it all together. Oh, here's, uh, here's an interesting fact. Did you know that it takes 12 pounds of milk to make one gallon of ice cream? That's a lot of milk, right? And one, one gallon of milk weighs eight pounds. Why does this matter? Well, it really doesn't, but I feel like knowledge burns calories, so that's part's important for this recipe. Okay, so the caramel is made, the milkshake is made. Now it's time to assemble it all. I'm gonna start off by just putting some caramel around the base here. Go ahead and add in the malted milkshake. Now to top it off with some whipped cream. Some chocolate sprinkles. A little bit more of the caramel sauce. And of course, the cherry. And that's all you have to do, right? Super simple. That caramel sauce is a great standby. It's foolproof. You're never gonna burn the sugar. It's really easy to make and it's super tasty. I think you're gonna love this milkshake. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Hey, if there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment. Thanks for tuning in. Please go over to IsraeliKitchen.com and check out recipes by yours truly and all the other people that contribute there. I think you're really gonna like them and I'll see you next time.